Updates coming in on Kolte Patil, the stock up almost 15%. But the other stock which is gaining and it's uh, the top FNO gainer today is uh, MCX. It's uh, on hopes of some volume boost coming in from the new contracts after the SEBI has allowed multiple base metal contracts. Surbi joins in with a lowdown on what's uh, keeping that stock afloat. Surbi. Hi, thanks for that. So MCX will be in focus today and that is because SEBI has allowed multiple contracts in commodity segment besides non-precious metals. They have allowed exchanges like MCX to reintroduce multiple contracts in base metals like aluminium, copper, lead and also in crude. These contracts were earlier discontinued in Jan of 2020. Now the change in the stance of SEBI is to increase investor participation and also to cater to all value chain participants. Analysts believe that the, this is positive for MCX and it could lead to a 7 to 8 percent increase in their future's average daily turnover. Before it got discontinued in Jan of 2020, the base metal futures contributed 25 percent to their average daily turnover and crude futures contributed in the range of 15 to 20 percent in their average daily turnover. MCX can also introduce mini contracts and options which will further add to their overall average daily turnover. The only overhang for the stock is the technology transition from 63 Moon Technologies to TCS. All right, uh, Surabhi, thanks a lot for that. Uh, the transition is something that everyone will be eyeing for now. Higher volumes is something that the street is cheering. In fact, uh, that has been uh, the kind of mood that we are witnessing on the street right now. The Nifty uh, at just about that 18,000 mark, uh, 20 points away from there. The Nifty Bank has crossed the 50-day exponential moving average. So let's see whether we see some further short covering on this or not, because FII longs had dropped all the way down to 38 odd percent. As we speak, HCL Tech has moved to the high point of trade. They had reported decent numbers as well. This morning, all the IT pack actually opened lower and now has uh, risen higher. And as the markets have moved higher, what's also happened is that the fear is seeping out of the system and that's reflected in the way the India VIX has fallen. The India VIX is currently now at the low point of trade, uh, an absolute uh, cut of almost four and a half odd percent, but from the highs, it's seen a correction of almost six and a half odd percent as well. So stocks doing well, the mid cap index just about in the red. Let's see whether it opens uh, or moves back into green and whether we uh, you know, see some further short covering from here on or not. We wrap up on this edition of mid cap radar on that note, your stocks when we return. <laughs>